I started when I was 32, so very, very late. I had just been separated and it got to the point where I was sitting around watching TV every night. I said, I got to find a hobby. And I asked the pipe major at the time, what do I have to do? And he said, go get a chant, a practice chanter and just start. So the following February, I showed up with my practice chanter and uh, that's history. It's been difficult at times, starting late, um, but I don't regret a minute of it. It's become part of who I am. My father actually started late as well. He was 33. Um, so I didn't feel too out of sync with uh, being able to um, get into the piping. Um, and two years later, I was competing. It's taken me all over the world. Um, and it's given me a lot of opportunities that um, to play competitively in places. And I play every year in Ireland on New Year's Eve. I was Grand Marshal of the Union County uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade. Um, that was a pretty big honor, which I really didn't know was in the, in, the, in the works. I found out after they had voted me in. It was a tough time. It was two or three days after my dad had died. And I'm sitting here trying to get arrangements for that, and I got that call, which was kind of bittersweet. It was, would have been a great thing for my dad to be around for. It's not just you, you're, you're representing the Union County Parade Committee and what the heritage and the culture is for the Irish people who came to America. Bagpiping has been a way to stay with uh, stay very connected with the, with the culture. It's part of my family's history. Um, I'm just hoping I can get the grandkids to pick it up one day and you know, continue on that, uh, that lineage of piping in the family.